Well, doctors who perform weight loss surgery and their patients have seen the many health benefits for quite some time. But now two new studies show this surgery can save lives and protect against a deadly disease. Mike Ferris explains in tonight's Weight Loss Wednesday. Jamie Zapata is a medical assistant at Surgical Specialists of Louisiana. She helps patients coming in for bariatric surgery for weight loss, but she decided to become a patient as well. I had uh, fatty liver, high cholesterol, um, hypertension. Gastric sleeve surgery not only helped her lose weight, but also treat those dangerous conditions. But now a new study in the Journal of the American Medical Association finds a sharp decrease in cancer after bariatric weight loss surgery. Pretty much all cancers across the board, like breast cancer, had half uh, the risk of, uh, of developing cancer over the 10-year period, where brain cancers and thyroid cancers were four times more likely if you did not have bariatric surgery over that 10-year period. Bariatric surgeon Dr. Tom Lavin of Surgical Specialists of Louisiana says this study is significant because it looked at 30,000 people with and without the surgery. And the results were overwhelming in favor of if you had bariatric surgery, your risk of cancer was much less. And there was also a sharp decrease in the risk of dying of cancer. When patients come in to talk to doctors about bariatric surgery, of course they talk about the emotional benefits of weight loss, but they also talk about the benefits when it comes to heart disease and infertility and orthopedic pain, lung problems and diabetes. But now with this study out, they're also going to talk to them about the benefits in fighting cancer. Jamie says she'll talk to potential patients about these findings. I'm glad to hear about it because I do have family history of breast cancer. And it, with this helping, obviously, in this study coming out, just it encourages more people to come in. But doctors say, unlike in other states, the largest medical insurance company in Louisiana still does not pay for the surgery in a state that ranks one of the highest for obesity and cancer as well. For Weight Loss Wednesday, I'm Meg Farris.